Morning, good morning, good morning, everybody. Welcome to another Stand Together. Good morning, jump on. How are you? Welcome to another day. Every morning we're doing right, 8 a.m. Welcome to another Stand Together. We've got a cool one today. We're going to be revisiting what we spoke about yesterday. And of course, um, I've got, I want to add a little bit to, to what we spoke about yesterday as well. Uh, and uh, we're going to have a pretty good one. So jump on, join. Good morning. Welcome to a Stand Together. Jump on, jump on, jump on. Say hi. Who's joining us? Who's hanging out today? Sarah's hanging out. Yasmin is hanging out. Your leader's hanging out today. Inga, Boris. Uh, who else is hanging out today? Alicia, Mia and Paul, Annette, now I know your name, good morning everybody, Scott, hey buddy, how are you, good morning, how you doing, good morning, welcome, 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 legends, good to see you, hi, welcome, welcome to the stand together, jump on, hey Chris, good to see you, Nelly, great to see you, Kim, great to see you, good to see all of the ones joining every morning, Mark, good to see you, I can't say that name, but good to see you. Great to see you guys. Hey, Caroline. Hey, good morning. Jump on. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? How are you? Good morning, everybody. Jump on. Say good morning. How are you all? Good to see you. Hey, good morning. Welcome, Nikki. Hey, good to see you. Now, remember, if you've got a if you've got a different handle, jump on and say hi in your real name so I know who you are. Hey, Kerry. Hey, Jennifer. Hey, good morning, everybody. Luke, good to see you. Zahana, good to see you. I'm going to say Belna. I have a guess at that. Good to see you. Amanda. Hey, Mariana. Good to see you. Good morning. Welcome, 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 welcome to another stand together. Hey, Mark. How you going? Good to see you. Brittany. Jennifer. Naomi. Good morning, everybody. Steve. And of course, Alex. Good morning, everybody. How are you all? Dave. Good to see you, of course. Julie. Mary, some of you guys joining. Hey, welcome to another Stand Together. Now, you know what we're doing today? Today, we're, uh, we're talking about, uh, we are talking about our continuation from yesterday, and I want to add something to that as well from today as well. So, jump on and, um, and let's get started. So, hey, yesterday we spoke about, we spoke about a few things, but one of the things we spoke about that I set you a bit of a task is this kind of random acts of kindness. I wonder if, we we did that. I wonder who did their random acts of... I'd love to hear some. I'd love to hear in the comments some of you that had a random act of kindness, what you did. I'd love you to go on and put those in the comments and, and, um, and share those with everybody. So if you if you did do some of those yesterday, go ahead and share. Be big or small, it doesn't really matter. Go ahead and put in there some of the things that you did. Let's have a look. Who did what yesterday, hey? So Nelly, I left home, engaged with a new person on Instagram. Great. Um, bought some products from small business wax melts. Great, that's good for them. And cooked a roast dinner for my for my essential customers. I cook um, for as a pivot. Great, well done, nice work. Offered a haircut to your son. I feel like that's biologically um, needed and um, and and, uh, and and kind of required. But I suppose that's good. I cut my father in law's hair the other day. I become the the person with the shaver, apparently. Cook meals for the family, brilliant. Gave away jelly beans. Yeah, cool. You can do something, huh? Good morning. Jump on, jump on, jump on. What else did you do? Sent flowers to a friend in need. That's beautiful. Well done. Nice work. What else did you do? Anyone else do some other random acts of kindness yesterday that they want to share that they that they did? Who is Belna? Good to see you. Um, reaching out to people just checked in. Great, great to see you. Let some let someone jump in the queue in front of me. Yeah, be brilliant. One of my employees is going through some tough times. Sent him a grazing platter from a small local business. She was super happy. Beautiful, beautiful. Love that. Love that. Well done. Complimented somebody on their glasses, um, smiles, and helped someone who was struggling. Asked everybody to for a hug at work and had them smiling. Yeah, beautiful. Well done. Hey, Carly. Good morning. What have you guys done, huh? What have you done? While I was wor- while I was working, I called and checked in to people I knew were struggling. Called just to check in and chat, make sure they were okay. Beautiful. Yep. Let people cross the road. Love that. Paid coffee for a person in front of me. That's beautiful. Opened shop door for a person on a walker. Yep. And walker and walked delivery driver to the right house. Hey, nice. How nice is that? 
Great, great, amazing. So if you're joining us, we're talking about what we did yesterday, and we were on a mission to do some random acts of kindness, and we're seeing who did what yesterday. So amazing things so far. I gave my bookkeeping bookkeeper an unexpected gift of a personal treat. Amazing. Check on the emotional well-being of a client. That's really nice. What else did you do? What's your random act of kindness yesterday? What else did you do? Carly sending all of our airport care packages to give them a virtual hug. Yep. Love that. Stop the crazy at home and did activities with the with the kids for fun. Yeah, I hear. That's what we spend our most of our time doing. Um someone did someone did one for us. They nominated our business um to to Sunrise. Amazing, that's so nice. Made our day. Excellent, they are looking amazing. Maybe getting the gifting from someone that we know. Um I called a few friends, have been quiet for a while. Nice work, Ivan. Took my son for a refreshing swim, having fun together. Anyone else want to share anything else? Any other random acts of kindness that they did yesterday? Uh, and again, this is not big. It's not about doing massive things. It's not about saying I, you know, I um, donated, you know, X amount of dollars to a charity or whatever. It's just about little things, little things that you can do, little things that you can do to just to to just to to show others that we're there and that we care, and and to. Add some positivity to the world. What have you done? What have you done? Annette told told um, the nice guy working at the post office he was doing a great job. He replied, "Thank you." Felt nice. Yeah, that's nice. Rain yesterday. Um, fed the magpies. Caring for elderly parents. Love that. Magpies love to be fed at my house. Let me tell you that. Gave my stepson a lift to where he needed to go. Yep. I let my, let my daughter paint. Oh my gosh, the people and their messy play and their wet play and all this kind of stuff. I hear, I hear. <laughs> my sister still doesn't let her, her sons do messy play these days. I don't think she does. One of them doesn't. She still says, no, no messy play for you. <laughs> hey, listen, this is just about the idea, right? Yesterday was just about the idea of one of the things we spoke about and and really... I, I know that this has a really great benefit on other people when we start to have these nice random acts of kindness that we do for people. And it's so beautiful that that so many of you are doing it. But this is also has a net effect on you. I mean, this does have an effect on on how you feel about it. I mean, you can't tell me that if you do something nice, like that someone cutting your line or buy them a coffee or check on a friend that needs it, that that doesn't make you feel good. You know, let your kids do something that you don't normally let them do and play with something or just do something for other people. That doesn't let make you feel that that little extra that little extra bit of um, of happiness because you're doing something. That's what this is about. This is about just stepping outside of your own challenges that you see within yourself and 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 trying to do something for other people that really do need it because a lot of people do need our help right around the world right now. And that's what this is about. And so it's so good to see you guys. Checking with the younger sister in Canada. I love that. I um, only speak to them at Christmas. She's a teacher in a new school. And um, surprised my husband um, was a never give up wristband. Yeah, love that. Took some afternoon tea to local shop owner. Nice work, Mandy. Amazing to do. And you know what? What I want to say to you, and, and this kind of this will link into um, this will link into um, what I wanted to share with you today. <clears throat> and you know, before I start sharing with you tomorrow, I've got some things tomorrow I want to share with you around your business. But today I wanted to share with you as a kind of a as a second piece of yesterday after I gave you a chance to share a little bit of what some of you have done either live or if you're watching a replay, you can share this. Uh, what I wanted to share with you is this idea of 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 um random acts of kindness right this idea of random acts of kindness that we're talking about the the idea of this <clears throat> for me really stems from the idea of trying to really step into and live your life with a level of generosity of thought and it's something that I think as we get older, sometimes when things get more challenging or when we go through challenging circumstance or when we are just 
disappointed by people at times or we've just had a bit of a shitty run of luck or someone's done something wrong by us or whatever it may be in business or life, we start to drop this idea of generosity of thought. And in building your empire, in building your business, in in being a human in life, all of that is a really important thing. The idea of this generosity of thought is that, yeah, we can do random acts of kindness for people, but the generosity of thought, right? The generosity of thought is how do you think in your life around other people? Do you meet somebody and think, how can I, what can I like about this person? Or do you meet somebody in life and think, oh, gosh, I don't like what they're wearing. Why do they do their hair like that? Um, why is that person, you know, why, why are they talking to me? And why they, or do you, you, you start to think, you know, what can I like about this person? What is there to, uh, what is there to, uh, to, to think about differently in an argument? It's a great one with, with people as well. When I see couples arguing, if you just bring generosity of thought into that argument and you just, don't get so wound up by your partner or by your friend or somebody else that you have and have that generosity of thought within the way you think about that person, giving that person the benefit of the doubt, thinking that person is maybe trying to do good, giving them a second chance or a third chance. This idea is the generosity of thought is about how you start to live in what you do. You think about others when you meet people. Maybe you, you know, if they say, how are you? You don't just say, good, thanks, how are you? And you don't actually listen to what they're saying. You say, I'm really well. Why don't you answer the question? Actually fucking answer the question. Here's how I am, you know? Here's how I am. You know, I'm good, but challenged by this, happy by this. But you know what? I'm really happy that I'm breathing in the sunshine and I'm, I'm alive, right? Um, you might then say, how are you? Tell me how you are. How are things going for you? That's what's happening for you. Okay, look, check on more friends. Check on more people. This idea of generosity of thought is not assuming bad, but assuming good. Not assuming that someone's done wrong, something, something's done wrong, but assuming right. Like, how can we can start to live more with this generosity of thought within the people that we have around us, within the conversations that we have, and, and give ourselves more of those people that are around us. And of course, if you followed anything I've said so far, and as if been a couple very specific ones I've talked about, um, I've talked about uh, purging. I've talked about your, you know, your circle of people that are around you. You know, then you start to work with people that are around you that deserve your time anyway, right? So if they deserve your time, then generosity of thought should be something that becomes second nature. It, and I think that as we go in life, and especially around these kind of times, lockdown makes people start to very much feel and think insular. They might make start them to think about where they are right now in their own life and about, I can't leave my home, therefore I'm not calling as many people, I'm not doing as many things, and I'm living in here more as opposed to living out here more, living living more heartfelt, living, being around, living more generously, giving yourself to other people and being around others. Lockdown doesn't mean that you can't, you can't be out there within, within the community and, 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 and connecting with people online it doesn't mean you can't be thinking about how, if you do go out for your exercise, how can you be more generous of thought? What can you do to, to start to create within your own mind the way of thinking that serves you better around being way more generous to other people just in your own general life? Now, I'm not saying that you have to be generous to those that take advantage of you. This is what I'm telling you. Look after the people that, that are in your circle. Look after the people that are around you and make sure that those you're giving your time to respect that because there's, there's enough people around this world that – you give and you give and you give your time and they don't respect that. They don't respect it this time. They don't, you know, they, there's no reason to, you know, if, you, if you're if you annoyed at somebody, there's there's no reason to, to, to you know, that you have to lose it. Just walk away from that and say, listen, you know, control yourself, control your feelings, have generosity of thought for that person. And maybe, you know, maybe start to think about where that person's coming from. You know, maybe if you're if you if you've somebody that you're, you have a bit of a challenge with at the moment, start to think, okay, well, what is their challenge, and can I understand that? Are they going through some things that I don't understand? Are they going through some things that 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 I I don't understand and comprehend? Can I get that? Can I have that generosity of thought about what I do? Can I live generous in what I do? Can I, you know, this whole uh, you know random act of kindness doesn't need to be a random act of kindness, or doesn't need to be something that maybe. You know, once a day, you just kind of make it part of who you are. You just, 
you know, you just think about every day, can I try and do something? You're just trying to do something. When you see people, you know, I, I look at people that hop in a lift and they never say hi to them, you know, to, to each other or they they pass somebody by and they don't smile and Listen, if you think you're going through a challenge, if you think that there's challenge in the world, well, other people are going through the same challenges as well, right? So listen, my encouragement for you from yesterday is random acts of kindness. And that was kind of the jump start to this conversation today. And the conversation today really is about how can we start to bring generosity of thought into how we think to the people that are around us? Can we can we forgive? Can we love more? Can we love more openly? Can we love bigger and can we bring more joy into that and 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 can we have a, a more of a positive thought of to the people that are in our life whether they be in our businesses whether they be in our personal life and and can we if we, can we make sure that we're we're building our brain to be more forgiving we're building ourselves and our life and our spirit to to uh, to give people a, a real chance uh, with you know with you you know whatever that may be like what can we do to start to think more generous of thought with the people that are around us and and softer edges I think sometimes now I'm not saying you can't you know there's times that call for you to be specific and direct and uh, stand up for what you believe in and and things you need to say and look there's times that that maybe is called for but there's other times where you know in yourself maybe you just need to stop and go okay Am I really being generous in my thought right now around how I'm treating people in my world? Am I Have I had that generosity of thought of the way that I'm dealing with my team or with my clients or with uh, with my suppliers or with my contractors or whoever you're dealing with? Am I, am I doing that? Am I bringing that into my day? Because if you think about this whole idea of generosity of thought, the idea is doing something for somebody else. It's it's sparking that person's you know life up just a little bit by by opening up that ray of sunshine. And you know if you start to live more generously in the way that you the way that you live, and it's, and again it doesn't mean it doesn't have to be a move, right? It doesn't have to be I'm going to j- donate ten thousand dollars. I'm going to donate a hundred dollars. I'm going to donate a dollar. It doesn't have to be a move. It can be more than that. It can be a daily thing. Like I donate money all the time to charities, and I do some cool stuff, but I do more things on a daily basis uh, in my life generously than what I do writing checks for charities or or things I do even in my own charity. Like I do some big things in that charity, but it's the daily stuff I think that matters really. It's that stuff that matters every single day. It's that stuff that that that, that we forget about, that we as humans need more. And in this time right now where everybody is closing off and shutting off and thinking that this is the worst thing ever and that, you know, the world is over and we're never going to have, you know, someone said to me the other day, it's never going to go back to normal. Of course it's going to go fucking back to normal. What do you think it's going to happen? Of course it's going to. Yes, you might have to sanitize your hands a bit more. Yes, they might ask you to wear masks a little bit more. Yeah, but you know, eventually, does anyone remember when you were around when these major outbreaks happened? We've fucking been through this before. There's been SARS. There's been many other outbreaks in our history, right? And we don't walk around every day going, oh my gosh, what about SARS? What about SARS, guys? Has that become part of our world, part of our day? No, it's not been, right? But you're just in the middle of it right now. If you're running a marathon and you're in the middle of the race and you're exhausted, sometimes you go, oh my gosh, I don't think I can make it. It's so far. Why am I running? But eventually you'll stop running and eventually you won't be in the marathon. You're in the middle of it right now. So one of the ways that you make it easier when you're going through it being tougher is you have generosity of thought. You have more generosity of thought. You don't just live in your own bubble of your own world of the things that you need to create, the things that you need to do. You start to think outside of that and start to think, what can I really do to affect somebody else in my life or people in my life? What can I do to create a ripple in my world? Because if you didn't realize it so far, every random act of kindness that you did yesterday, I guarantee you would have created a ripple. They would have done something, maybe two or three or four things, maybe three or four or five and 10 things. You know, when you're feeling great, when you're feeling good in your world, you tend to do more things for others. And if you can do that for somebody else's world right now, when everyone, watch everyone's so into love right now. Look at it, what happens when, you know, they make an announcement and people run to the supermarkets to buy everything they can. You know, it's not generosity of thought. It's not generosity of thought. We need to be the people that start to lead 
with a generosity of thought. And that's what this is about today. This is, this is the add-on from yesterday when we talked about random act of kindness. Now I'm encouraging you all to add this as part of what you do. And look, look, listen, there's going to be some times you, you fall off the, the wagon of this. And there's going to be times where, where, where this, this maybe isn't called for and maybe in certain parts of business. I, I get that. But I think that this random act of kindness connects well into what we need to start thinking about within the generosity of thought of who we are and who we're trying to be and how we're trying to help people and how we want to live our life. How are we living our life? How are we living our life? Are we living one with more generosity of thought? Or are we living one that, that you know, keeps us to our 300 square meter blocks or 1,000 square meter blocks and a little house? And, you know, do you know who your neighbor is? Do you know how they are? Do you check in enough with your family? Um, do you have you said to your friend, "How are you going? What's going on? How are things? What can I do for you? Tell me something. Don't tell me. Don't 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 check with somebody and say, "Hey, let me know if you need something." Right? That's the biggest bullshit. Right? Don't say, "Let me know if you need something." I'm going to do something, and it's going to be one or two or three. You choose one of those. If you don't choose, I want to do. I want to choose myself. I want to do all three. You choose one, whatever it may be. Choose one. Choose one. Do something. I'm going to do something. I'm either going to cook you a meal and drop it at your doorstep. Um, I'm going to buy you a yoga live stream workout, uh, or I'm going to send you a beautiful bunch of flowers. You choose. And I'm not going to get off this phone until you choose. Or how about I call you every morning for the next, you know, after Aaron's stand together and we, we chat about what Aaron spoke about for, for 10 minutes. How about we do that? You know, you need us to do that. Let's do that. I want to, let's talk about that. Let's uh, let's talk about this together. Let's build off each other. Like, what can you do? What are the random acts of kindness? But what are the jo- generosity of thought? I think that you know, and, and I talk about this because it's an easy kind of, um, it's an easy reference point for everybody to get. I talk about this in fights a lot, right? How people fight. They don't have this generosity of thought. They go into arguments with their spouse, their partner, with their arms crossed, the defenses up, and nothing gets solved. Because there's no generosity of thought. There's no, oh, you know what? Maybe they didn't mean that. Maybe, maybe they are trying. Maybe, um, you know, may, maybe, maybe they're, they're, maybe they're struggling with something. That's the reason why they're acting that way. And, and maybe we need to understand that and unpack that more. So this generosity of thought is is part of how we start to live, and it's part of how we start to think about how we approach our day to day. And right now, where everybody is, what do you think I call this stand together? Everyone's standing alone right now. They're isolating. They're in- incubating themselves away. And all that does is it adds to a level of instability in your life. I mean, look. What we're going through right now, people are either experiencing this as disruption or they're experiencing this as growth. And sometimes you can fall into the level of disruption because it's like, fuck, another lockdown. God, this is shit. Oh, that's annoying. Oh, but you know what? Sometimes you'd have to get ourselves a bit of a reality check too, right? And the reality check has to come into this. And I said it the other day, I don't care if it pissed some people off. If you're shitty about what's happening right now, go and trade your spot with somebody who is trying to get on the plane to flee Afghanistan. Think about those people. Think about those people that don't have... You you worry about freedom. Oh, I don't have freedom in this country. Okay. Watch the world news for just a little bit. Go and have a look what's happening in a ton of other countries around the world. Or go look what's happened in those countries even before all this stuff started to happen. Go look at the wars. Go look at the dictatorships. Go look at the things that are happening in other countries that that we would say, oh, I wouldn't. Oh, my gosh. You know, we we get annoyed. Yes, you know what? I get pissed off like everybody else. I want to say to the government, what the fuck are you doing sometimes too? I want to say, is that the best move? I want to say, hey, I've got an opinion. We should do it this way. But at the end of the day, we talk about freedom. We talk about what we have. We talk about our ability to be able to do what we want to do, right? I'm someone that I don't, I'm someone that tells you not to watch the news. Right, because I think it's full. Of, I'm like, oh, that's full of shit. I mean, I don't watch, don't watch the normal. Oh my gosh, you know, it's full of bullshit. But you know what? You want some reality check? Go on, shoot, look at some world news. Go imagine what it's like if you were the person. If you've got children, think about what's like to be that mother trying to hand over that child over a barbed wire fence. Try and think about what it's like to be that person sitting there going, okay, if I am Australian and I do live in Afghanistan, I might have a chance of getting out, but I've got to go through a huge amount of, of dangerous terrain to try and get my family to an RAAF helicopter that's waiting. 
try and think about all of the people that have been in these situations for their whole life and that don't have choice and that don't have the freedoms and the liberties that you have. I mean, if you get annoyed about something, you can, you can voice your opinion on Facebook. You can get annoyed. You can, you can do whatever. You try and do that anywhere else, you'd be executed. I know what you're thinking. Some people should be executed for what they say on Facebook. I hear you, right? But the reality is that this generosity of thought and this idea of, of living outside of ourself, one of the things that I do in my world is that I get out of my own head. Hi, Alessandra. I get out of my own head by thinking about what's it like to be more of a challenging circumstance in a situation than what, what we all are in right now. Does that make sense? Generosity of thought. Helping others. Random acts of kindness. Because I know Stand Together, I'm talking about life and I'm talking about business. And I've got some big business lessons lined up for the next couple of mornings coming for you. But today I wanted to add on to what we spoke about yesterday. And what we spoke about yesterday was about our first problem versus challenge. Then we spoke about random act of kindness. And today, today we're speaking about this generosity of thought and my encouragement for you to stop living inside the prison that the government has put you in within, you know, your own, you can't leave, you can't do this, you can't do this. And sit there, soak in some air today and realize that you have a lot more freedoms than what you probably think. So many more. So many more. And don't even get me started on genders, right? Don't even get me started on genders, right? The inequalities, the challenges. I mean, they're, they're, they're just... And then adding on to that, the, the, the no choices that, that, that a lot of people don't have right now. Listen to me. This is about us understanding that we are going through some challenges right now. I hear you and it sucks and I know, and I know that a lot of people are challenged by that. I, I see them, I hear them, and I know what we're talking about right now. But here's the thing, we do have a choice right now. And our choice right now is to live more generously. Our choice right now is that when everyone says you need to isolate, incubate, stay away from other people, that you choose to open up even more. You choose to make more phone calls to people that need it. You choose to step up more and really live generously with that an agenda and say, you know what, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go out there and help more. I'm going to lean into those that want to lean into me. Let me tell you something. There's others out there that are trying to pour into you right now. They're trying to lean into you right now and say, hey, yeah, maybe this, maybe do this, maybe do this, you know, and uh, they're trying to lean into you, lean back into them. You know, you let that, let that, let that loop, let that infinity loop continue around yourself because you'll be in a situation where you'll look back at this and say, it wasn't as bad as everyone thought. And I know that it's challenging and I know that it's, it's, it's not great. And I know that, that right now, um, that, you know, no one's enjoying this whole process, but it could be fucking worse. It could be so much worse. And we have to think about that, how we live our day and how we start to bring that into our world and know that we need to start thinking about that a hell of a lot more when we're trying to live the life that we want to have right now. So random act of kindness is great. But what even better than a random act of kindness is generosity of thought in how you operate and who you are. And if you want a bit of a reality check on how thankful you should be, because remember, generosity of thought is connected to how you feel. The most generous people in the world are those that feel really connected to themselves and they feel really fulfilled, fulfilled. They feel whole. They feel like, okay, like I'm grateful for the things I have. Then they go and they fill up other people's cups. So this is the reason why you've got to work on you while you're trying to do this, because if you want to make generosity of thought a part of who you are, then you need to look at you. You need to work on you. When I feel more full, my cup overflows into other people's. You know, if I didn't look after me, I couldn't like to look after my family. If I don't look after my family, I couldn't look after my team. If I look after my team, I, I couldn't look after my customers and my clients. If I look after them, I couldn't look after my shareholders. I couldn't have to look after myself. That's how this thing works. And sometimes you fuck up. Sometimes things go wrong. In life, 
in business, right? Oh my gosh, we can all list the amount of things we've stuffed up in life. I can tell you how many, many, how many companies that I have, there's things that I stuff up in business every single day. But you get up again, you go, okay, let's get this better again. Let's have generosity of thought within the people that are around us and we can rebuild something to be even better than what it was before. So this is what we're talking about today, is generosity of thought, making it a part of who you are and not just and not just a move, not just a thing you do today, but making it part of who you are. Because if you take care of you, you'll have all the time in the world. You'll have all the thought in the world to say, okay, let's do even more for other people. And that's where, that's where true change comes from, when you really are living unselfishly because you've, you've understood yourself enough and how you're living to live at a higher level for others. There's a lot more that goes into this, but that's what I can talk to you about today, right? Because I know I've gone over. Listen, we swing into some pretty deep business lessons tomorrow for the next couple of days. Uh, that's what's on the agenda. But for today, what we've talked about is this. We've talked about generosity of thought and we've talked and we've shared as well about what we've done around our random act of kindness, random acts of kindness yesterday. And it's been amazing to hear and see from a bunch of you. Listen, much love to you all. Let's see if we can start making this a part of who we are, not just random acts of kindness, but um, generosity of thought. Make ourselves proud about how we're acting out right now. And let's make sure that we live through this together. Much love to every single one of you. Stay safe, stay connected, and stay generous. See you tomorrow.